Okay, so somebody just got a Xyron um, Little X, and it didn't come with directions, so real quick, I'm going to uh, show you how to use it. Okay, so obviously you need to make sure that whatever you're going to be using is going to fit down in the little slot here. Okay, you see that? Here's the um, the cutting part or the ripping part. So you're going to want to make sure. Hopefully, yours already already has uh, sticky stuff in it. So you're going to push that all the way down until it touches the where the adhesive is. Then you're going to carefully turn it around. You're going to grab this little piece right here, and you're going to pull. Okay, and I keep pulling until you can see all of it, and I think you can see that. And then I, I put my next one in, and then you just pull again. And you want to be a little careful because if they're too wide, um, it will sometimes twist or scoot over. And then um, part of it won't get uh, sticky. Okay, so once you've got whatever you're doing, um, you know, pulled all the way past your cutting teeth. Can you see that? I hope so. You're going to then rip it off. Okay. And then you're going to take your finger and you're going to do just what it says. You're going to rub. But you want to rub real, real well, up, especially along the edges. I um, I have long nails, so I can just, you know, use my nail. If you've got short nails, um, something that, that works is to take just a close or a paper clip and sort of rub it up against that edge, just to make sure that you know it's stuck on this plastic because the actual adhesive is on the white and then what you're rubbing is doing is it's actually making the um, the adhesive come off the white paper and go on to the peel away so you're just gonna rub that real good and I currently have um, the permanent uh, cartridge in mine. So then you're just going to find where the plastic comes off the white. And it's actually really easy, mine being difficult. And then I suggest you lay it flat, hold your white part down, and then peel this up like that. Okay? So now this piece here is sticky everywhere except for um, where your design or your paper was. This is not sticky right here. Oh, it's not sticky right here, but it is sticky here. Okay, so there's that. Um, and then now these are stickers. Um, they've got the adhesive on the back. And I actually don't have a use for them yet. Um, I'll put them on one of my planner pages later. Okay, so if you have an another cartridge, okay, here is how you change it out. On the bottom, okay, you've got your little X thing down here. I grab a hold of that and I flip it up. Okay, I flip it up. There are these two little tabs on each side. Okay, you're going to pinch that and just pull it straight. Okay, straight out. Okay, then you're going to take your other cartridge and you're just going to... It. You want these little circle or these little things here to be pointing up. Don't move this, okay? take this and you're just going to slide your hand, use your finger, 
and push. It'll lock in. Once it's locked, it's not going anywhere. Okay? So, here's the other thing. Green is for repositionable. And the pink or red is permanent. Make sure if you're wanting to make um, something that can be removed, make sure you use your repositionable. Um, when I'm making stickers, I normally don't use my repositionable. I normally use that for washi tape. Um, and actually, I probably should have used it on my hearts because those are things that I could have moved around in my book. Now I can't. Um, so that's how you use the Xyron um, little mini X. I call it my baby X. Um, they're normally available for anywhere from five to ten dollars, and the refills are available for around five bucks. Um, they have 20 feet of this one and a half inch uh, tape, and yeah, I bought one set of refills, and I've had it for a few months. Um, I don't use it all the time because I actually have been finding some really cute stickers and have had some really cute stickers sent to me. So, if you have any other questions, just ask. Thanks! Okay, so Jenny wanted to know whether she should run a strip or go ahead and punch. I'm going to show you both because I think that this is easier um, just to punch them first and then run them through. But, and of course I started and did not get anything. Um, depending on what kind of punch you're going to do. Um, these are the recollections. It's a little music note. Okay. So they store underneath. But, hold on. Okay. So you can do it both ways. You can run one. one strip. Make sure you get it all the way in. Or you can just take these and hold it sideways. And put your dots in if you've got like a hole puncher um, like a three ring hole punch and you you know are saving your dots I just line them up in there eh. and then let them slide down make sure that they stay apart the good thing about doing it this way is when you go to take them off and use them, it's a little easier. And then you can do the little shapes. Ah, it fell. Where did it go? Okay, we lost one. You can do the little shapes the same way. And when you're using paper that's the same color on both sides, it's a whole lot easier because it doesn't matter which side they're on. Of course, I had to pick a pattern paper to do this. Okay. So make sure you get them all the way down in. And then just pull. Sometimes you need to tap on it. Now, okay. Okay. When you're doing it that way, sometimes they will double up, but I don't care. It doesn't make a difference when you stick them. Alright, so again, peel your sticky part up.
now these are the ones that we did um, already uh, already punched so we're going to cut those off here's the one that we just did the one strip um, you can punch these um, see this is the problem that I always run into it's almost like my punch doesn't go all the way through or something um, and they always they seem to always get stuck yeah see it might be my punch they're still usable but they do tear now it is sometimes easier for the shapes because and I think I might have to yeah um with the shapes though what I if you're gonna do it that way take your little uh, guard off because it's actually easier to pull up the adhesive you gotta hold it up so it doesn't stick to everything and then stamp because when you do that now I'm gonna need my tweezers okay because then you're not trying to peel the plastic or the plastic off of or the paper off of that um, so I think that this is easier to do it this way but up to you Jenny I just thought you know if you're trying to do a whole bunch I would do it that way you may lose a few um, and some of them may double over if you can prevent that from happening um, you know that'll work out better if you have a better hole punch than I do oh now that one worked um, okay so here's where my problem is now you've got the adhesive on there so that back paper sticks really well um, I got it, it actually came off fairly easily that time. So, I don't know. I still think it's easier just to punch a bunch, keep them in a little baggie. You can remake it, you can run them through your adhesive whenever you need them, um, versus cutting out strips.